Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So um, the pattern did continue yesterday, and what pattern am I referring to? You can see for the last couple of days, it's been up, well, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. The last couple of days, it's been every second day. And um, so I think you know, when the market starts doing that, it, it typically stays like that for quite some time. So it's not really bullish, not really bearish. Uh, if you look at my oscillators at the moment, they are easing off nicely, coming sort of in no man's land at the moment. So it's something like this, but still when they get a crossover like that, it does tend to be a fairly decent move. Uh, the question is, uh, logically, today should be a down day. So if you look at the pattern of the last couple of uh, days, today is a down day. Uh, I'm not that convinced. I think maybe we may have a little bit of pressure here to change. We've uh, broken through a trend line firstly. And I'm looking at this. So down, up, down, double bottom. We're looking for a break above there. Look to the left, you can see quite a bit of interaction with this area. And that's 13.729. Uh, so I'm looking for a decent break of that and retest, which would give me a potential break of the channel. Uh, and there is a bit of a gap to the upside here on the previous high, and I think that would be the ultimate, that would be the target right now. But bear in mind, you've got gap to the upside, gap to the downside. And um, with all of that out the way, don't get distracted by the pattern because it's only going to play out once we break this high. 13.729 break it, re come back and retest it, then you're looking for a move to the upside. At the moment, what we're doing is we're coming up to test an area of previous rejection. So this is resistance. And look at the oscillators here on the three hour, um, all starting to group to the upside. So I think in all likelihood, this downside gap is probably going to close first and if we just do something like that, um, move to the downside, but that's also going to potentially set up a bit of a, a small bearish flag. Oh, when we start looking at the hour, you know, the view is slightly different, not much different, but look at what happened through the day. You know, big up, big down, big confusion. And look at my oscillators at the moment. You know, we can probably make an argument for What's that? That is 90, 93.9 and we're currently on 91.9. So slightly down on the previous one. But you know, if it does get above the high here of nine, oh, sorry, 91, no, there it is. I'm looking for the high, 93.9. So if we do, if the oscillator does get above 93.9 over here, oh, it is, sorry, so it's 97.2. So what does that mean? Basically diversions, and that's continuation diversions. So it's difficult to see, but you can see um, the oscillator is made a new high. There's a high, it made a new high. And price is not made it yet, but it is at a lower high. Obviously we need to break below this final bar, and then we start looking for, for that diversion to play out. Uh, let me just have a look at what the futures market is doing. I know US futures is flying right now. Uh, DAX futures pretty flat, 0.21, uh, 0.21 up. So for as long as we're below the 150 on the hour, this trend is down. And uh, the fact that we've been doing up and down, up and down on the 150 EMA uh, leads me to believe we're probably going to do another leg down. So. Uh, my view right now, uh, there's another gap over here as well. So there are two gaps to the upside, two fairly strong gaps to the upside. We do have a potential double uh, double bottom, but obviously we need to break above this previous swing high, and that's 13.717. Break retest it. That also breaks our 150 EMA. That would be a decent structure for a long. Personally, I think you're probably going to see some downside to close this gap. I'm not interested in the short, though the overall trend the bigger trend on the daily is up so i'm looking for opportunity to buy into this i don't see an opportunity here to buy i uh, also don't really see an opportunity to to sell so i'm kind of sit on hands with this one and this kind of goes 
hand in hand with the Dow Jones. And the Dow Jones, my, my view today is also set on hands. So that's normally what happens with those two is when you know, they sort of work together or move together. Anyway, um, I really can't see anything that I want to get involved in right now. So uh, unless we break the structure here and come back and test it, 13,720, that's the only thing that I would look at. Uh, I don't even think I'd be looking at a move. Maybe at the gap close here, I may look at opportunity to buy at 13,413. Maybe, but uh, I'm not entirely convinced. So if I do see something, I will put it out on the telegram channel but for now i don't think there's anything here uh yeah so i expect another day of volatility another day of confusion so um for me money in pocket until we break some structure uh probably make a bit more money that way anyway hope it helps and uh, we will catch up with you later uh cheers for now